to the district attorney. And that led to a full-scale investigation by his office and the Santa Barbara County Sheriff. An arrest warrant for Mr. Jackson has been issued on multiple counts of child molestation. The bail amount on the warrant has been set at $3 million. If Michael Jackson's watching this right now, what's your message? Get over here and get checked in. <laughs> we, would in we would encourage him to turn himself in and cooperate with law enforcement. Yeah. With that announcement two weeks ago, Michael Jackson's future and his career were in serious jeopardy. At 12.05 today, Michael Jackson was taken into custody. He surrendered to authorities and was booked on child molestation charges of lewd and lascivious conduct with a child. What was going through your mind when you're taken into a police station in handcuffs to have a mug shot taken? that you know is going to be shown around the world. They did it to try and belittle me, to try and to take away my pride. But I went through the whole system with them. And at the end, I, um, I wanted the public to know that I was okay, even though I was hurting. What, what happened when they arrested you? What did they do to you? They were supposed to go in and just check fingerprints and do the whole thing that they do when they take somebody in. They manhandled me very roughly. My shoulder is dislocated, literally. It's hurting me very badly. I'm in pain all the time. This is, see this arm? This is as far as I can reach it. Same with this side over here. Because of what happened at the police yeah, station? Yeah, at the police station. And what they did to me, if you, if you saw what they did to my arms, It was very bad what they did. It was very swollen. I don't want to say. But how you'll did... see, you'll see. We were given this photograph said to be taken after Michael Jackson was released on bail. Jackson says the swelling above his wrist is where the police handcuffed him. How, how did they do it? I mean, what physically, what did they do? With the handcuffs, the way they tied them too tight behind my behind back. Behind your back? Yeah, and putting it, they put it in a certain position, knowing that it's going to hurt and affect my back. Now I can't move. I, I, it keeps me from sleeping at night. I can't sleep at night. And Jackson says there was more. One time I asked to use the restroom. And they said, sure, it's right around the corner there. Once I went in the restroom, they locked me in there for like 45 minutes. There was doo-doo feces thrown all over the walls, the floor, the ceiling, and it stunk so bad. Then one of the policemen came by the window and he made a sarcastic remark. He said, "Smell? does it smell good enough for you in there? How do you like the smell? Is it good? And I just simply said, it's all right. It's okay. So I just sat there and waited. For 45 minutes? Yeah, for 45 minutes, about 45 minutes. And then then one cop would uh, come by and say, oh, you'll be out in, in a second, you'll be out in a second. Then there would be another 10 minutes added on, then another 15 minutes added on. They did this on purpose. What about Jackson's allegations? Was he mistreated? Did the police injure his arm and shoulder? Did they lock him in a bathroom for 45 minutes? To get answers to those questions, we made repeated calls to both the sheriff's office and the office of the district attorney. They declined our requests for an interview and referred us to the statement on their website, which says about allegations of mistreatment, that is not true. It was the sheriff's deputies who executed the search warrant of the Neverland Ranch. How did you feel when they went into Neverland? I mean, with a search warrant. Okay, what were they looking for? What did they take? My room is a complete wreck. My workers told me, they said, Michael, don't go in your room. They were crying on the phone, my employees. They said, if you saw your room, you would cry. I have stairs that go up to my bed. And they said, you can't even get up the stairs. The room is totally trashed. Mm -hmm. And they had 80 policemen in this room, 80 policemen in one bedroom. That's really overdoing it. Did, and, they, they, and they took knives and cut open my mattresses with knives. Could just cut everything open. Did, did they take anything from Neverland? Uh, I'm not sure what they took. They never gave me a list. Hmm. But you're saying that they destroyed your property? Yes, they did. And then they, what they did was, they made everybody that work at the property 
They locked everybody out of the house. They had the whole house to themselves to do whatever they wanted. And uh, they totally took advantage. They went into areas they weren't supposed to go into, uh, like my office. They didn't have search warrants for those places. And they totally took advantage. And the room is a total, total wreck, they told me. And I don't, I don't, want to, I don't think I want to see it. I'm not ready to see it yet. So you haven't been back there? I've been back there, but not in my bedroom. I won't live there ever again. I'll visit Neverland. It's a house now. It's not a home anymore. I'll only visit there. What time is it? Because I'm hurting. I don't feel good. In a moment, Michael Jackson tells us why he still believes it's appropriate to have children sleep in his bed. And he lashes out at the family whose child he's accused of sexually molesting. More of Michael Jackson's story when we return. This is not the first time Michael Jackson has been accused of child molestation. Ten years ago, he was accused of sexually abusing another young boy. However, after that boy refused to testify, and after Jackson paid the boy's family millions of dollars to settle a civil lawsuit, Jackson was never charged. Although the family in the current case against him has filed no lawsuit and says it does not intend to, Michael Jackson is still suspicious of their motives. Greed, money, somewhere greed got in there and somebody, I, I can't quite say, but it has to do with money. It's Michael Jackson, look what we have here, we get money out of this. That's exactly what happened. What I don't understand is 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 why today and i know you say it's money but who i mean why would he turn around and say michael jackson sexually molested me if it weren't true because 